Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Intel Drone Light Show enhances Super Bowl 53 halftime show. Tennessee considers new drone bill. Unique expands H520 line with precise RTK satellite navigation. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world. With more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country, I'm Skylar Vanell. During Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta, Intel Corporation partnered with the NFL to create the first ever live drone light show for halftime. About two years ago, we were introduced to the Intel team as some of the drone light shows were starting to become popular. So as we thought about how to push things farther this year, we developed a custom lantern drone show that allows the drones to operate indoor in a closed system. When Maroon 5 broke out with their first hit song, She Will Be Loved, 150 shooting star drones floated up and over the field to form the words One and Love. The Intel enhanced drones for the show mimicked floating lanterns. The drones were also enabled to fly a pre-programmed path inside the stadium without the use of GPS. The number of drones flown indoors broke the world record, which was previously held by Intel when they flew 110 drones at the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. In the next Drone Minute, we'll take a look at a few of the stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. According to the independent newspaper, the 32-hour closure of Gatwick Airport cost airlines 50 million pounds. That equals about $64 million. The newspaper based the numbers on EasyJet's announcement, saying they lost about $19 million. Over 140,000 travelers had to deal with the canceled flights and delays, but for Gatwick-based EasyJet, some 82,000 passengers were affected. There still is no proof a drone was flown nearby. A drone under development for the package delivery market would jump off the ground much like a bird. The Sparrow drone is being developed by Passerine, a startup company in South Africa. The drone uses a concept called a blown wing in which the engines are mounted to the top of the wing. The engine exhaust passing over the trailing edge of the wing and flaps generates additional lift, but they can't lift the aircraft off the ground. That's where the bird emulating landing gear comes into play. The 2019 AMA Expo East is right around the corner. AMA invites members for coffee and donuts at the AMA membership meeting. You can get the latest news with executive council members and staff. If you are interested in the event, you must purchase tickets prior to the event and before entering the Meadowlands Exposition Center. It all takes place on Saturday, February 23rd at 9 a.m. Aero News drone expert Casey Seelock recently had a chance to get his hands on a DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone and ran it through its paces. Part 1 covers a lot of the hardware and basic capabilities of this mighty little drone. With the upcoming Part 2, we'll offer even more detail. For Casey's review, check out Aero TV's DJI's Mightiest Mavic. Well, that wraps up your Drone Minute. A bill introduced in the Tennessee legislature would make flying a drone in some areas a Class E felony, with fines up to $3,000 and six years in prison. The bill would increase penalties using an unmanned aircraft over a critical infrastructure facility without the business operator's consent from a Class C misdemeanor to a Class E felony. Senator Lumberg said the intent of the bill was to protect places like Eastman Chemical Company or the Bristol Motor Speedway from terrorists or others who might want to use drones to do harm in the area or steal company secrets. He said companies have the same right to privacy as individuals, but that does not mean that if the businesses are doing something bad, they shouldn't be exposed. The bill was introduced and passed on the first consideration back on January 31st. Unique expands H520 line with precise RTK satellite navigation. 
Unique International's commercial hexacopter, the H520, will now optionally be available with an RTK system. Even under difficult GPS conditions, such as in cities or canyons, the RTK system ensures maximum precision and centimeter-precise positioning. The fully integrated satellite navigation reportedly enables extremely accurate reoccurring images, faster 3D mapping, and makes automated inspection flights easier and more precise. By using RTK technology, the H520 can now fly much closer to objects for inspection. As the UAV positions itself precisely in the centimeter range rather than in the meter range, the satellite navigation system makes it possible to significantly reduce image overlaps, maximizing efficiency in workflows. The RTK system is not only fully integrated into the hardware, but also into the UAV software. If the use of a ground station is not possible, the system can also be operated with a national reference station network. The RTK will be available in the second quarter of 2019 in different configurations. That's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. For real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories, go to aero-news.net. And for more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org, we'll see you back here next week.